Hello everyone, this video is going to be shorter than usual. Uh, the goal is to talk about some tips relating to camera movement when doing multiple shots. So the first thing is that um, it's good to attach your cameras to an empty. As you can see this camera here, uh, which does this shot, is attached to this empty. And I just need to keyframe the local rotation of this uh, empty here and it's going to affect the rotation of the camera around that center. It also happens to be the focus object so if I check this camera here yeah and the focus object also set to the same empty the second thing I usually like is setting the interpolation mode for the movement of the camera to be linear instead of the usual Bezier because with linear when the speeds of the movement are roughly the same the movement feels more continuous whereas with Bezier yeah this is too much but Whereas with Bezier, if you get if you switch cameras in these uh, pockets, like the movement is not gonna feel as fluid because of the abrupt speed change. The last point is in regards to where to place your keyframes. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using uh, markers to uh, to switch uh, between cameras. You can add a marker with the button M, and then uh, you can bind uh, you can bind a certain marker to a camera by pressing Ctrl B. Uh, that's how I switch between cameras and the uh, you can see here that I place my uh, keyframes just a little bit before uh, I switch cameras because if I place it directly on top or just right of it uh, it will f feel like a little bit of, there there will be a little bit of a stop I, I want the movement to start before the camera switches it's like you see in in a uh, in Hollywood when the actors they usually start moving before the camera starts rolling. It's the same concept here. Set add background and action. So usually pe when people keyframe stuff, uh, so let's say I move this. Yeah, I'll just set a location here and then move it up a bit, and then location. They keep their keyframes at frame zero and the last frame. But it's a good practice if you want uh, the movement to be good to place your cursor in the middle roughly and then press S to scale a bit so that you move both your keyframes outside so that uh, at the start of your animation your object is already moving. That's the idea. That's it for me. I hope this uh, was helpful. Have a great day.